Good morning, all. If anyone you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and I was always told I had a voice for radio, so today I'm bringing you some games I played on my stream, twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio, with a Turbo Metals deck. No deck list in this video, it's not my deck list to share, at least not yet anyway, but it is a fun deck, I wanted you to see it, and it's a bit of a theme to this video. People are kind of scared of this deck. You'll, you'll see as you watch. So, you know, make sure you're following on twitch.tv slash pdcgradio for more action in the future. But for now, grab yourself a nice cold beverage, sit back, relax, and enjoy the game. Anyone else noticed I've not won the coin flip yet today? And this is like game five or six, and I've yet to actually win the coin flip. Anyone else notice that? I have. Now, this is actually an awkward opening hand. Now, the good news is we do play a, um, we do play four floatstone here. So, essentially, eh, I mean, we could, in theory, have a turn one claw slash, but we don't, no, I, I know it was a free win, but I, they're wasting my time. And I don't want my time to be wasted. I'll give them the win because they don't want the win. They want the evolutions. Now they've got to go back into the queue and start a new game, etc., etc. I want to hurt them. That's what I want. In all seriousness, ladies and gentlemen, there is a very good chance I am going to stop using OBS for, um, for Windows 10. It's, just, it's not working. So, we can tap Ulele here, and this is actually going to be an alright turn. The downside here is, we've just got way, way more cards in our hand than we want. Oh, sorry, um, a, a Pokemon on our field. There's only really one of those Pokemon we want down right now. But, we're going to get rolling. Now, we need to be a little bit careful of Espeon here. Because in theory, Espeon could ruin our day if we get too many energy attached to one Pokemon. But I think we're going to be okay. Uh, we might as well Oranguru. That was quite nice. If we... Oh, that was dumb. That was dumb, ladies and gentlemen. That was a really bad play. Because what I actually could have done then was... Got on a KO on the Eevee. And I threw away that KO on the Eevee, which was not clever. I could have attached the energy and Guzman and KO'd the Eevee. I chose not to. And I think that wasn't a terribly clever idea. Huh. So now what do we do? I really don't even know who to attack with right now. I want to have a Mew and a Solgaleo. That's what I want to attack with. But I don't have them. Um, <sighs> Ugh. I suppose I Claw Slash here. This is not what the deck is supposed to do. This is not what the deck is built for. This deck is built to have Mew, Solgaleo, Registeel, one of those, in the active, accelerating energy. Then your opponent takes a prize. You turn on Sun's Eclipse GX, hit for 250. Then you attach a fourth energy and immediately hit for two, and basically take four prizes in two turns. This is not what this deck is supposed to do. Now, I'm hoping here my opponent is going to be dumb enough to try and attack me with Espeon. Okay, they're not dumb enough to try and attack me with Espeon. The good news is they've put enough... Um, I've got enough energy to do this. Now... This could turn out to be a stupid play. 
But the fact of the matter is, at the, at the moment, my opponent has nothing. Like, actual nothing. So, all we need to do here is retreat... And then we can actually go and get ourselves a KO, and this might actually help. Okay. That's good. That is good. I love Germany. I love Germans. Nice people. So, ugh, I don't love this play. My opponent did the angry face. This is not my preferred play. All I'm really doing here is just punishing my opponent for putting too many energy on an Espeon and then not attacking. This is not really what I want to do. What I want to do is have a Mew or a Solgaleo rolling. Uh, yeah, Solgaleo Prism Star. Ooh, Stevie Gamer 7, I like that idea. A retrospective series where I basically sit there and look at all my WASI ratings for particular cards and see how right I was. I like that idea. Um, the answer is essentially if people would watch it. So I am always up for experimenting with new types of cards. If people would watch that, I'm down with it. I just don't know if people would, to be perfectly honest with you. So now my opponent's going full Garboda, and this is the issue. I just need a Soul Gale Oh, they scooped. <laughs> this deck scares people. People are scared of Dusk Main Necrozma. Yeah, I'm seeing it. It's starting to lag. Ugh. Although, to be fair, my opponent is taking forever to call the coin flip. Huh. See, this is not a great opening hand, but we do play a whole bunch of um, floatstone. We play four floatstone. Are you actually kidding me with this? Are we playing another exe ex executor deck? We might be. So let's go Solgaleo. Then we can pop that one down. And then we can Sycamore for seven. That would be nice. Like I say, it's all about the bench here. If we have got the same matchup as last time, and I see no real reason to think we don't have the same matchup as last time, then... It is all about just setting us up a bench of decent Pokemon. If we do that, we win. It's as simple as that. This is a good matchup. I mean, it's, let's face it. It's Executor GX, right? It's not amazing. But you need to actually get set up. And if you don't get set up, you don't win. Now, we can't attack now anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We are in Guru. We will have to kind of bench the Mr. Mime to draw more in future. But nope, we've got the Tapu Lele, so next turn we can roll. This is all right. This is a much, much better situation than we were in last time, which is nice. Oh, and an N as well is lovely. Apparently, eggs are the new meta. I think that's about right at this stage. Oh, if we could hit both those Max Elixir. Okay, so it's not the same Executor list. There we go. So we do need to hit a um, Floatstone. There we go. Oh, my goodness. We are just going to set up and wreck this game. So... Uh, do we even go Cabalion here? I think we do. And it, essentially, right, if we set up all these attackers, we win the game. Like, at this stage, that's basically how the game works. So, come on, hitting all our Max Elixir. I mean, to be fair, right, we're playing a boatload of Max Elixir. We should hit a lot of Max Elixir. Yeah. When you're playing 15 basic energy, you can afford to be a bit salty if you whiff on Max Elixir. Just putting it out there. 
Do we go nest ball here? Is there anything we really want? Oh, we need an energy. If we had free energy... Oh, no, Bulbasaur's got 70 anyway, so that's fine. We do nest ball here because basically we're just going for wrecking setup. Then we end to six and we just keep going. Hopefully, have we played three? Yeah. We can play a town map as well. <laughs> we haven't actually attached for the turn yet. How cool is that? And then we can use a Radiant Star to get three more energy. And when this deck works, it is an absolute thing of beauty. See, now, we're looking at this start right now, and we're going, I win, basically. Because if my opponent does drop a Parallel City in this game, that's fine. We've got enough Pokemon there. And we've basically got two choices. We either just keep building up energy using Radiant Star until our opponent is forced into action. Or we just start smashing. The problem is, this deck is not great at being proactive. It's not a brilliantly proactive deck. Because this takes four energy... This hits for 60 or 220 and discards free. This depends on how much energy they've got attached. This depends on how many prizes they've taken. This is not a proactive deck. <laughs> it's another Executor GX. So what we do here is we do go proactive and we just go and get a KO. And then we should win quite quickly. So, if this Max Elixir hits, we're loving it. Ah, you have to whiff one occasionally. Problem is, I really want a Float Stone on the one with which I'm attacking. We've still got two in the deck. But it means now I've got to attack with this one. So. <laughs> People are scared of Turbo Metals, ladies and gentlemen. It's official. People be scared. Ah, oh, once again, we're going sec. Why do we always go second? I don't want to go second every game. I like going first sometimes. On the upside, we should get a fairly good Solgaleo this game. Oh, is this actually going to be a build that uses Lorantis to get one hit KOs? If so, boo! So, I'm going to get rid of two of these. And I'm just going to go ahead and assume... Oh, it's prized. Oh, that's rubbish. Really wish I'd only got rid of one. Ugh, Solgaleo. Having Solgaleo prized sucks. Because I could have Corona impacted for many. So let's just play an N. As long, oh, I need a Dust Mane, the Crowsmer, and an Energy. That's what I need. Oh! There's no Pokemon! Where's all my Pokemon gone? Ugh! Ugh! Oh, I don't like this at all! Because what am I going to do? Just put the Energy on Tapu Lele. Oh, this is really bad. And I've got to attach the energy. Because um, the thing is, if I Sycamore, I'm Sycamoring away two Max Elixir. And I don't know what PTCGO is doing to me today. But my Solgaleo is prized, which sucks. And... Oh, my goodness. And I'm getting rid of two Max Elixir. I am basically losing so much draw power. Let's get a beefy Tapu Lele, shall we? Which I don't think is probably the best play, but I'm doing it anyway. Okay, at least we're going to have a slightly better Pokemon here. 
So, we're definitely not playing another Tapu Lele. Okay. Now, annoyingly here, we're not actually getting a KO on the Wimpod. Also, a um, Sol Galea would be a really good attacker in this game. So how much damage does he actually do with a choice band? 180. Which means he will be able to KO a Tapu Lele with one more energy in a Guzma. Yeah, but then I can GX him. Okay, there's no there's no there's not, that's not coming down this turn. Okay. I mean look, we can sit and set up behind a Registeel. That's not too bad. Oh, if he gets the promo Lantis out, then that's actually gonna get a KO and that's gonna suck. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. That was a pretty good end. That gave me pretty good. That worked quite nicely. So let's just get rid of that. Yeah, that'll do. And then we can turbo arm. Get a prize. And pop an energy onto this one. So we're going to have so uh, Dust Main the Crowsmas out. And again, and this is what I'm learning about this particular deck. This deck, you just need to be prepared. This is a deck where you get lots and lots of energy quite early on in the game. And it basically is a situation where if you don't get the right Pokemon out and you don't put the right energy down early in the game, you lose. I've lost several games because of decisions I made several turns earlier. Uh, other thing is, I should have said this long ago. Do make sure you subscribe if you're in a position to do so. And do make sure that if you are an Amazon Prime subscriber, that you do get a free subscription on Twitch. Please chuck it my way. I would be delighted. Yeah, so there's the promo Lantis. Thing is, my opponent's got, like, one attacker here. So I have no real issue just sitting here and setting... Oh, oh, I haven't discarded an energy. I have no real issue sitting here just turn after turn, setting up energy, setting up attackers. There we go. We'll grab an Oren Guru just in case my... Because I do need to start setting up for an N at some point. Let's play a town map. See our lovely prizes? There we go. And essentially here, we're just going to overpower our opponent. We're going to get multiple Dust Main Necrozmas rolling. Although we do need to watch our Floatstone count. And we're going to get Kabalion going for late in the game. And we're essentially saying to our opponent, you're just not going to... Yeah. See, I'm cool with this. Oh, that was the wrong decision. Oh, he's only hitting 170. That was the right decision. Oh, because I got rid of his choice band. Ah, that was a good call. And see, now... Now this is where this deck... And this is what this deck really needs... There, there we go. People are scared. Because I get the KO with the GX attack. And then I get a second energy... Another energy and get a KO the following turn. People are scared of this deck. It's official. As long as I play it properly. Oh, I would like to go first. This is already a better stream than yesterday. Ooh, I'm going to have to play down a Lele. Well, the YouTube video isn't... Oh, no, it is uploaded now. Yeah, the YouTube video wasn't uploaded. Well, it uploaded, but it wouldn't process. So that was a bit weird. This, this is a good start, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very good start. Although I need to make sure... I need to have a little bit of discipline, essentially. The big mistake I was making yesterday playing this deck was essentially... That I was 
I, I, I just wasn't being patient enough, to be perfectly honest with you. And that was silly of me. I should have been much more patient. I was starting the game and I wasn't worrying about, you know, having enough attackers set up. Now, this deck doesn't play Bridget because it's a really fast-paced deck and you play Nest Ball and all of that. So, please tell me I clicked on a Sycamore. Thank goodness for that. Uh, and to be honest here, we might as well play this other Ultra Ball anyway. Grab us... Ooh, that might have been dumb or clever, depending. That could have been a good play or a dumb play. I don't need an energy on Sol Galeo because I'm going first, though. And now I could potentially have, like... Oh, high five. I could potentially have, like, four or five energy next turn that I'm attaching using Sol Galeo Prism Star. That, to me, sounds pretty nice indeed. I mean, as it stands at the moment, that is a good turn one. That is a really nice turn one. We've got two does, And to be fair, right, these should be all the Pokemon we need to finish out the game. Regice TCG, hopefully we're not going to have the same lag problems today, I hope. So, Whisper, Regice TCG, we haven't done any viewer uh, battles the last couple of streams. Long story short, we just... It, 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 we are having too many technical issues. I was trying to figure those out. I'm hoping today that won't be the issue. So do whisper Regice TCG if you want to get on the list of people having viewer battles. Now, of course, my opponent is the has the advantage in this game. We want, we want to put an end to that. So presumably this is going to be for a Bridget. And we're just going to start getting set up next turn. We want our opponent. This deck actually loves when your opponent takes the first prize. Thank you very much, Chipmunk. Because what you really want is free energy on here. Your opponent takes a prize. You use Sun's Eclipse. And then you add another energy and do the big attack and you're off. This... Yeah. This is fine by me. That Sudowood is not really worrying me. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, he's poisoning me. I don't care about poison. Poison means nothing to me. So, there is a potential issue here. Yay! Silski666 is following. There is a potential issue. I'm not going to have enough attackers here, but I think we're going to be okay. We're going to Sycamore, and the reason we're going to Sycamore, firstly, we don't need Mew to hit for weakness on something like a Buzzwall, and secondly, we just want to get another energy in the discard pile. So, we can have five energy attaching, and we've only got four in the discard right now. So, let's get rid of an energy and a Mew. Might as well grab a Lele, not that we're really intending to use it. And see, now we can just go absolutely over the top with Radiant Star. You know, we, we're getting five more energy out. So let's go one onto there. 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 And now we've got two free energy Dusk Main Necrozma in play. We want our opponent to take a KO. We really want them to. Now the annoying thing is... But remember, they should not be getting a one-hit KO on us. They basically max out at like 150... So, and I'm assuming this is just to turn off abilities of basics. Yeah, it means we lose our Aura and Guru, but it's really not the end of the world. Oh, do we Sycamore? We, now, we don't play any Pokemon recovery here. So when we discard a Pokemon, we lose that Pokemon. No, we don't. What we do is we Guzma this... And we basically just wreck their setup. Because we can Claw Slash for a KO. Again, it's basically turn... <laughs> nice! And they're all just like, I can't take down two of those. I lose. Yeah, you lose! That was fun. That was fun. Good times. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, four games where I got moderately set up and people were just, like, not doing it. 
not playing this game, I scoop. This video, the, the game portion of this video was 24 minutes long. And you saw four games averaging six minutes each where people were just like, I'm out. I'm done with this. It's a fun deck. Is it the best deck ever? No, it's not the best deck ever because you've got to set up, which means you give your opponent time to set up. And I lost a bunch of games where I played it poorly and all of that rubbish. But oh my goodness, it's fun to get set up in a couple of turns and have your opponent go, I'm not doing this. So as I said, do make sure you're following at twitch.tv slash PTCG radio to join in with more streams in the future. And do make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel and follow me on Twitter at the Wossy. Go check out patreon.com slash PTCG radio for bonus pods and soon exclusive tournaments. And do check out Wossy plays for some video game related action. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.